What's up bros? Welcome to another BroGraph tutorial. I'm Dave Koss. I've got a real simple tutorial for you today. It's a tips and tricks tutorial. This is a, an introduction to navigating the viewport easily. This is one of the biggest things you'd be surprised that people have problems with when they start cinema, especially if you're an After Effects person, you know, you feel like, okay, I know After Effects, I want to jump into cinema, and then you get in and you're trying to navigate the viewport and you're having trouble. Navigation in the viewport is crucial to getting around. If you are having a hard time getting around the viewport, it's going to be really difficult to model. It's going to be really difficult to build things. Just in general, you're going to have a bad time. So I wanted to show a couple things that you can do to really get snappy in the viewport. And it's really only three simple things. Um, I'm going to create a cube, which I already have created, but here is a cube. Now, if you have the defaults on, and they've changed some of the defaults in the last few versions back, I think, of Cinema uh, to what your defaults are, what you're probably going to notice is that when you try and uh, rotate around, you might have something like this going on. And it's really difficult to, to get your bearings, especially if you have multiple pieces of geometry in your scene and you want to and you want to get somewhere or rotate around something, it's really difficult. Um, and that's because they've changed these defaults. The other thing is that zooming in and out uh, by default is, is not a good default in my opinion um, because it's zoomed to cursor. So what can happen is you're just zooming and you're moving your cursor and it's going all over the place and it's not a real efficient way to navigate. I feel that everything needs to be more object oriented. So if you go up to edit and you go to preferences, there's two things you need to do. It's make sure that your camera mode is on object and turn dolly to cursor off. I really think it needs to be off. Now I have reverse orbit on and that is because I'm an old school gamer and from back in the day like playing flight simulator games where you pull back on the stick and going back or down is actually up. Um, same thing with the defaults for Red Faction on the original uh, PlayStation 2 game, I think. J that's when I really started getting into first-person shooters, and the Y was inverted. And so that's kind of how I always play. Um, and so I kind of feel the same way when I'm navigating the viewport. I have to have my reverse orbit on. Um but that, that part's totally up to you because that could be confusing. But camera mode, object, dolly to cursor, off. Now watch what happens. Here's the difference. The third thing, before I show you the difference, the S key. The S key is crucial. If you're not using the S key all the time, then it's, it's really slowing you down. Because I see people all the time, they're like, okay, what do I want to select? And they're in a huge, huge scene. They're, they're scrolling out, they're like, oh, I want to select this. And then they, they scroll in, and they move, and then they scroll. I'm like, dude, all you have to do is select any object, either in the viewport or up here in your object manager, and click S, and it's right there. Now, the reason for that is because now that the, um, that the um, dolly is on, and or dolly to cursor is off, actually, you're only going to be zooming straight into the center, which is great because usually when you're modeling stuff, you want to select a piece, click up on it, and center, and now your rotation, because we've changed those options as well, no matter where you click, it's going to rotate only around that object. It's not going to rotate all over the place and get all confusing. I have showed so many people those couple simple steps, and it has completely, drastically changed the way that they navigate around cinema. The other thing too is that if you have an editable object and you're on a poly, let's say, and you want to rotate around the poly, it's gonna rotate around that poly, or you can click S and it's gonna center it up just on that poly, you're gonna rotate right around it. It lets you work in such a very, very fast way that I, I don't think there's any other way to, to work and to navigate, especially if you're new to cinema. Just do this from the get-go, and you're really going to get speedy in no time. 
So that about covers it. Um, it's very important, and, and I, I feel like it's the first thing that I tell anybody who's starting in cinema. So um, if you enjoyed this and you want to see some other tutorials, introductory tutorials, more complex tutorials, um, V-Ray, Octane, rendering stuff, um, or you want to see stuff like BroGraph Talks where we talk about the industry, please subscribe on our YouTube channel. You can also listen to our podcast, which is available on iTunes. It's called the BroGraph Podcast. It's every week, pretty much, um, and it's for two hours. So if you're looking for a good podcast to get geeky with about graphics in the industry, please subscribe to that as well and uh, drop us a line. Uh, you can email us at uh, BroGraph at BroGraph.com. You can get in touch with us for, for in social media through all sorts of different venues. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, of course, YouTube and BroGraph.com. And um, rate us uh, if you listen to the podcast as well. Please leave a, a rating on iTunes. Subscribe. And uh, we got T-shirts out, too. No BroGraph, no MoGraph. And uh, a plug-in coming out, which, depending on when you watch this, it may already be out uh, for Octane. So until next time, I'm Dave Koss, and have a good one. Later, bros. BroGraph.com, an online resource for learning critical components of Cinema 4D and After Effects, specifically catered to help you prevail as a motion graphic designer. What's up, bros? Welcome to another BroGraph motion graphics tutorial. We give you professional time-saving tips, shortcuts, and lessons that help give you an edge over your fellow designers. Not only this, but our new BroGraph talks help you in your file management, hardware configuration, and client relations. I love projects that scare me. When our art director comes to us and asks Asks for something that I had never done before, man, it gets me pumped. Join us for live sessions, check out our crazy Cinema 4D experiments, or just watch our Fun with BroGraph series, where we show you practical applications for techniques learned in previous tutorials. Do this from the beginning, and your client is going to respect that, and they're going to respect you, and they're going to respect your time. Subscribe today and get automatic updates on the latest tutorials, tricks, tips, and inspiration brought to you by industry professionals Dave Koss and Matt Milstead, all with a slight dash of dry humor peppered in. Real nice banana. BroGraph.com, your source for tutorials that will help you thrive in the motion graphics industry. Don't just play around with Cinema 40 and After Effects. Master it and make money by becoming indispensable at your workplace. We don't care how you get here, folks. Just get here. Subscribe now to BroGraph Tutorials. It's pretty good, I guess.